YNW Melly, the 24-year-old rapper, is facing the real possibility of the death penalty. On June 12, 2023, the courtroom became a stage for intense drama. But what truly stunned everyone was Melly's reaction to his sentence. It left everyone in complete disbelief. Arrested in 2019 and charged with two counts of first-degree murder involving his fellow rappers, the question remains, why did he do it? And now, the world awaits to see if he'll face the weighty consequences. This is his story. Jamel Demons, better known as YNW Melly, was born in Gifford, Florida on May 1st, 1999. His single mother, Jamie Demens King, raised him. However, he doesn't know who the father is. He faced lots of financial hardships growing up in a poorer neighborhood. At a young age, Demons joined the Bloods Gang. He began sharing his music on SoundCloud when he was just 15 years old. However, his early life took a dark turn when he was arrested for shooting at a group of students near his high school. In 2016, Demons adopted the stage name YNW Melly and formed the hip-hop collective YNW. This band included Anthony YNW Sack Chaser Williams, Christopher YNW Juvie Thomas Jr., and Cortland YNW Bortlin Henry. Despite being in prison, Demons released his first project, the EP Collect Call, featuring collaborations with prominent artists. While still in prison, Demons released his second commercial mixtape, We All Shine, in 2019. The project included collaborations with Kanye West and Fred Bang. During this time, Demons' popularity soared, accumulating millions of streams and achieving chart success. Despite his legal troubles, Demons continued to release music. In 2020, he dropped a remix of his track Suicidal, featuring Juice World, which became his second top 20 hit on the Billboard Hot 100. But if you noticed one thing, some of these tracks and songs aren't ideal and have bizarre names. Some of these tracks' animated graphics and videos are also extremely disturbing. What was going on in his head? And do you think a murder convict should be allowed to release songs and continue with life like a celebrity? Melly was never problem free. It seems like crime and legal issues have followed him everywhere. But little did anyone know that things were about to go horribly wrong. In October 2018, Emmons and his group were all set to appear in a music video. They were at a local rapper's house. However, two of the members of the collective, Williams and Thomas, were shot dead in what Demons and his friend Henry claimed to be a drive-by shooting. Both the victims were driven to the hospital by Henry. Nobody had imagined who the real culprit was. The victim's family say all four were close, and before the murder charges, Melly was considered a best friend. But here's when things started getting fishy. The four rappers were supposed to appear in another music video by another local rapper the next day. Even though their childhood friends were shot dead the day before, Demons and Henry seemed all well and appeared in it anyway. This raised suspicion. The rapper also came under fire when people highlighted that he had released a song named Murder On My Mind in 2018. The lyrics of the songs were seriously bizarre and depict gruesome details of a murder scene. However, they were arrested on February 13th, 2019 and charged with the first degree murders of Thomas and Williams. Despite being arrested, Demons pleaded not guilty. Now at 5.30, testimony will go on in the YNW Melly trial. Prosecutors say the rapper killed his two friends, and if he's found guilty, he could face the death penalty. And today, his defense asked the judge for a mistrial. The jury for Demons' trial was selected on April 11th, 2023. The trial began on June 12th, and prosecutors favored the death penalty. First thing you are going to hear is that at 4.35 a.m. on October 26th of 2018, Cortland Henry, a co-defendant, shows up at Memorial Miramar Hospital. The prosecutor stated that Demons and Henry were murderers who killed their friends and staged it as a drive-by shooting. She claimed that Demons had confessed to the crime on his Instagram. In his DMs, he stated, I did that, shh, when asked about the murders. Don't you think this was a sick joke, even if it was just for humor? However, the defense had a different story. 
the defense attorney stated that Demons had no motive to murder his friends, and the case was riddled. He further stated that the state took four years to investigate the crime, and then pinned it on the rapper. But when asked, why did he do it? The state says, uh, I don't know. According to the defense attorney of Demons, the state's perspective is flawed. Do you agree? That's the first indication that they're just guessing and don't know what they're talking about. And that, ladies and gentlemen, by itself, is reasonable doubt. The allegation remains yet to be proven. However, what captured the attention of everyone in the trial room was Melly's behavior. When Demons stepped into the court, he had a huge smile plastered as if he were in a live show. He even prayed and blew a kiss into the air before the trial began. Nobody understood why he did that. Really? Really? While the prosecutor was developing a case against him, he seemed uninterested, fidgeting with his pen and looking around. During the trial, Melly's expressions also came under scrutiny. Some people think he looked too calm for someone facing the death penalty. His expression seemed like he had no fear of a possible death sentence. The least he could do was act right. Also, his actions and smile during the trial were bizarre, given the serious allegations against him. To know more about bizarre criminal trials, hit that shiny red subscribe button. Demons was also seen laughing and chatting with his female lawyer. While people think this is a sign of someone being evil and ruthless, others believe it could also be due to his ADHD. What's your opinion? However, his smile soon vanished when a gun expert started discussing the types of guns he used in the murder. There are also allegations that Melly may have been motivated by money and wanted to keep all the profits from their music group for himself. However, the prosecution brought in witnesses, including Melly's ex-girlfriend's mom, who claimed the prosecution threatened her to testify against him. The drama. The judge dismissed the witness and declared the jury was tainted. Ultimately, we'll have to wait for the final verdict to know the truth. The trial is ongoing, and it will take some time to resolve. YNW Melly's reaction to his trial has left everyone perplexed and suspicious. His demeanor during the trial, marked by smiles and non-serious behavior, raises questions about his true nature. Is he a remorseless murderer, or a troubled soul? The final verdict will unveil the truth. We can only assume until then. That's all for today. What do you think the final verdict will be? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.